Happy Monday, Roadie Foodie fam. Guys, I heard Chipito came out with some cilantro lime cauliflower rice. They're like, hey, Lou, you got to watch the carbs this year, pal. So the real cool thing about this cilantro lime cauliflower rice is that it's got about, I think, five net carbs. It's got like either 20 or 40 calories as opposed to like two or 300 compared to the regular rice. So I'm on my way right now, about to ship it down the hatch. Oh my God. Oh my God, fam, look at this. All right, so there's a uh, right here, where is it? It's gotta say it on here. All right, here we go, right there. Oh my God, we, we're we getting cursed, guys. Look at this. I, got, I picked it up and I was like, why is it so light? Look at this. I got a half a bowl, man. Look at that, all this. That's like, I got a two thirds. No, not even two thirds. Look at this. Look at that, I can move in right here. I can, look at that, I can put a sofa over here, a little TV right here, bathroom. Oh my God, is the rice even in here? I don't know, we'll, <laughs> we'll get into the video. At least I got a bag of chips, guys. I know that they at least hooked me up with this, right? Oh my God, look at that. Roadie Foodie fam, guys. <laughs> God, I still can't believe. Look at this. I had to fill it up with chips just to make the thumbnail look good. Oh, my God. I love you guys so much. Happy Monday again. That was not an intro I wanted to talk about. So what we'll do real quick, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll get into it. We're going to talk about a couple books that I got. Look at that. Beep, beep, boop. Bop, beep, bop. And then also I want to show you guys one of the window covers that I, uh, I'm i like 80% done. All right, so for the folks that are here for just the review part, let's get into it. Why the hell do I have my seatbelt on? Getting down for business, son. All right, guys, carne asada down the hatch. Let's try this. I think it's in there. I can't even really see it. Okay, it tastes good. At least it tastes good. Look at this, man. They usually hook me up. Oh my God, man. It is slim pickings out here at Chipotle, guys. Oh my God. I think I got like a half of, um, half a serving of meat. I'm not one to complain about upcharge. So like I bought, I got the carne asada as an upcharge and then it, the $2 for the cauliflower uh, cilantro lime rice, $2, all right, whatever, let's do it. I want what I want. Man, between this and Dairy Queen guys, I don't, the heck is going on here? But let's, let, let's get the review part of this over real quick. Hmm. The cilantro lime rice, um, cauliflower rice is pretty bomb. The little itty bitty, as much as I can taste. I'm trying to get some, but like, there's like barely any. It's, it's like they didn't make any. Guys, look, I'm not even lying with you. Like, where is it? I told you guys when we walked into 2021, we were gonna be quiet. Let's take this off, business time. We're not gonna to touch anything. Somebody touched something in 2021 already. I said, be quiet. <laughs> Someone was loud. Oh my God. All right, well, again, you guys know me. I'm gonna be just thankful and blessed that I'm even eating. Oh man. Whoever works at the Chipotle in Seekonk, what the heck is going on, guys? There's gotta be somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. That's how New England works. You know what I think happened? This is what I think happened. Are you ready for this? 
It's a new item. So they probably didn't make enough of it. One minute. Only thing I can think about. It's a new item. They ran out of it. To get the orders shipped out, they're probably like, they'll just sprinkle it on the bottom. Let's get this order out of the way. Oh my God. Chipotle is usually on point too. I can't even really give this a review, guys. We're gonna have to try this again another day. Cause I wanna get, I might have to be there. You know when you go and you stare at them, you're like, give them a stinky eye, like puts, puts them in there. I'm just kidding, I don't do that. I just go, oh my God, I'll pay extra. Can I just get an extra scoop, please? Uh, so if you're here for the review of this and you're not subscribed to our channel, my bad. I tried, all I can do is order guys. I had to order this for pickup, I'm running around. I barely have enough time. I know some of you guys say, why don't you bring it back? Guys, I have this much time to film. So usually I just order, pull over, park, eat it, film it, and then I gotta get back to work. <coughs> A little piece of chip there. <clears throat> so, we'll try this again. Let me, I'll give them a week. We'll do this again maybe next Monday. All right, so we'll just make this a regular mukbang. Thank you guys so much for coming. Like, comment, subscribe if you're here just for this. And now we'll get into the mukbang part, the family part of the, the video. So fam, I wanna show you two things. Actually, let me show you this first. So as I told you guys, quick update. I'm going to be, uh, I am going to try car camping in my driveway sometime this week, okay? Comment down below if you guys want me to kind of like do a little mini vlog on that. I don't know how it's going to go. I can turn into a little baby freezing and me complaining the whole time. Or I can just go with it and watch Netflix and, and chill. So this is what I came up with because I saw so many like van life, car life folks. So you see this? So what I had to do, which was a lengthy process is you get Reflectix, right? You can get this at Home Depot. I love, I like Lowe's a little bit more. Um, and I got some spray adhesive. I think I went a little too industrial with the spray adhesive. So I ended up going, I bought a second can. So uh, with Gorilla Glue. So I went to Joanne, which was really cool. I never bought, purchased uh, fabric before. So I got this black. So what it does is like when you put it onto the window, this isn't the one for this window, but like this, it blocks it out, right? It's, it's not so much more for privacy, it's more for like insulation. But this part, I didn't want to stare at this from the inside. So what I did is, when I went to Joanne's, look at this. I bought this super warm, like flannel thing and I cut it to size, right? Let me see if I can do it real quick for you guys. Here we go, beep -bitty boop Also, I'm still, I'm looking for tents too. I'm, I'm shopping around on Amazon a little bit right now for a good tent like a three season, four season one. Look at that. I still have to spray it, spray it onto here, adhesive spray, but look at this guys. It's like a little, uh, it's like a little cabin. Huh? Can you imagine that? Check this out. Right there. We'll do a little vis. Uh, you can't really see it, but how freaking cool is that? Huh? I'm really, I'm really pumped on that. All right, let me take a quick bite here. Cause I'm starving. Hmm. Oh, by the way, guys, do me a favor. If you can, take 10 seconds real quick. I'm trying to look at analytics. We have about 
six, seven, eight hundred folks on average. Some are a little higher. We go into the thousands for each video that that we post. Do me a favor. Right now, you don't have to stop the video, but just comment down below "hi." You can do the emoji. You can type in "hi" and press enter. I kind of want to see what happens if we have more uh, engagement, more comments down below. So just wave hi. I'm going to reply to with you with just a hi back. If um, if you guys can all do that, I know not all six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred people are going to do that that watch this video, but if I can get at least 100, I, I kind of want to see what happens uh, with all that. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Look at this. 100 classic hikes in New England. Beep, beep, boop. This is where I live, right here. See a little slice that's like, are you even a state? That's me right there. So I'm going to be going through all this, all this, and making my own little travel list, right? But I'm also going to cross-reference it with this. I'm a huge fan I just put out a piece of chip of Lonely Planet, and I'll get into that in a second, but I have to keep eating because this is getting freezing. Mm. Oh, I just had a little kernel of it. Not bad. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I can taste the lime now. Oh my god, that would have been Chipotle. You would have blessed me so much if you would have put as much down there like you do the rice. Oh my god. Would have been such a happy camper. But still happy, still fortunate. I mean, you can't go wrong with all those ingredients. Look at that. This is Mexico in a bite. Mm. Guys, salt and lime goes together like... So if you get the cauliflower cilantro lime, cauliflower rice... Make sure you guys grab some chippy chips because it's gonna, it's gonna, salt brings out flavors and things. If you, and not all salts are created equal too, guys. I would, I would lean you towards kosher salt. When you have, when you eat something, uh, you can't put too much because then it gets salty. But if you put just the perfect amount of salt, it brings out the flavor in food. Try it. Eat something without salt and then put salt like on a, on a tomato. Eat a, eat a tomato, like, oh, it's pretty good. Sprinkle a little salt on it. Now it's bomb city. The more you know. All right, so this book right here. New England, as you guys know, I'm going to travel around New England a little bit. Get uh, Earn my... I mean, I, I, I've driven cross-country half a dozen times already, but never like the way that I wanted to. It was always like I need to get to the other coast really fast. What I want to do is take my time, but in order to get to that stage, guys, we have to take it slowly, right? So I'm going to start in the New England area. I might dip into like Ohio, Pennsylvania, Jersey. Um, some foodie friends are in that state, so I kind of want to check them out. But look at this. New England's best trips, 32 amazing road trips. So the, the cool thing about Lonely Planet, if you guys don't know is that it's pretty comprehensive. I mean, they break it down between state, look at that, Massachusetts. Who's the pink? Who's this? Oh, this is Rhode Island. Look at that. So beautiful. So much home pride I have. I have to look through the photos even though I've been there. Look at that. So, you know, there's that. And then uh, what do we get into? Connecticut. Ivy Leagues. Oh, that's kind of cool. They break it down to Ivy League colleges. Um, Maine. Maine is another state I would love to just explore. It's almost like it's our Alaska, essentially. And then, uh, I don't know what this is. 
the driving guide, insurance, renting a car. Oh, okay. So they kind of hook you up with a bunch of things. So I'm going to be cross-referencing this with this. I was trying to online, if anybody knows any websites, I'm trying to find somewhere in New England that I can camp, winter camp. Uh, meaning once I buy the tent, I want to test it out during all seasons, right? I want to test it out in the winter, <laughs> in the winter, uh, summer, spring, fall, all four seasons, baby. So if anybody knows, everyone that I've looked at so far online has been like, hey, we're just open from April to October, which kind of sucks, but all right. Man, cilantro. Chipotle, I meant. The saddest bowl ever. I don't think I've ever had a bad bowl at Chipotle. Wow. All right, guys. Ah, let me go down. So, <clears throat> this is really cool. I'm really excited for that. I am going, again, I'll leave you guys with this. I'm going to, probably on Wednesday, probably Wednesday, I'm going to sleep, I'm gonna car camp <laughs> in my car in my driveway, safe space, right? I don't have a sleeping bag. I'm, I wanna try out my insulations. Um, I do have a heating pad and I have my Jackery. So I'm gonna hook up the heating pad to the Jackery so it gives me some warmth underneath. Uh, and that way if like my hands get cold, I can just like put it in the pad somehow. We'll figure this all out together. We are on this journey together, guys. This is more than just a mukbang channel. Roadie Foodie, Road and Food. It's a travel and food blog, guys. Vlog, blog, whatever you want to call it. Channel, food and travel, okay? So in 2021, which we're in, I want to start exploring more of the travel portion of it, okay? Um, also, I, I am going to be uh, doing a series, excuse me, that I want to start doing. <clears throat> and again, it's probably going to be over the, the course of a month that I'll do it. And you guys will have to let me know if, if you'll enjoy this. But essentially what I want to do is, hey, five places that you can get coffee in Rhode Island. Five places that you can get tacos in Rhode Island. And they can be alternating. And sometimes they'll be kind of overlapping. Hey, you, you mentioned uh, California taco in the last three videos. Yeah, it's five places you can get tacos. But what it does is, you know, I kind of want to promote local restaurants a little bit more in a different avenue. But also kind of it be like, you guys you guys seen those like BuzzFeed, like top five places. Like I don't want to call it top five. I just want it to be like, hey, five places to get tacos in Rhode Island. And just do it that way. It's probably going to have the same um, thing, like the same name and stuff. But maybe we'll do it by city, right? We'll say, hey, top five. God, I just said it. Five places to get tacos in Cranston, Rhode Island. Right, little things like that. And we'll do like, hey, five places to grab a slice in Warwick, Rhode Island, or something like that. You know, five places to get burgers in uh, here and the other. So it's gonna be a little more work editing on my end, but let me know if you guys will enjoy something like that. Um, but I love you guys so much. Please do me a favor, comment down below. Put the word hi, H-I, and I'll wave back at you. Um, I kind of want to check something with the analytics. Uh, thank you so much to all the diehards. And thank you so much to everybody who put us over the top 3,500 subs. Uh, amazing. Just amazing. I, I'm just going to leave it at that because I can't comprehend amazing things sometimes. I just have to just uh, process it slowly. Okay, guys. Uh, shout out to Polar, New England brand. Chipotle. I mean, we're going to have to have a little discussion. All right. We're going to have to little, little chats. little chatty chat. Uh, let me get back to work. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, be well, eat well. We're not start saying travel well and take care of each other.